Uh, good morning, YouTube. Okay, so I'm going I'm here to talk about uh, Queen Sugar. All right, so last week, uh, for some reason they didn't show the episode, so they're back. Okay, so a hurricane is coming to town. That's what this whole uh, episode is about. The hurricane is, is on its way. It's imminent. They're boarding up uh, all the houses and so forth. Most people are just about pretty much uh, the whole cast is is gathering at Aunt Vi's house. I guess her house is the most uh, hurricane proof. So, uh, okay, so when we open, Micah is interviewing for prep school there in the South. I guess he's he's about 16. I thought he was 15, but 16, maybe maybe even 17. But he's uh, interviewing for this, with these schools in the South prep schools, college prep schools. So, uh, which would mean that obviously he's ready to graduate high school. That would make him probably 17. Maybe if he's real smart, maybe 16. Anyway, so he's calling these schools. Him and his mother are preparing for, um, for, an, for an interview with this prep school when they announce that the school is closed because of this hurricane. And so the interview is canceled. All right, next thing we see is Nova out. Nova is a very community conscious person, <clears throat> as we already know. She's out helping the senior. Helping her. Oh, that's sexy. Ooh, ooh it looks real sexy. Anyway, <laughs> to somebody. <laughs> Maybe to an 80-year-old man, it might look sexy. Anyway, back to the story. Okay, so Nova's out. She's she's driving around and helping this, this this one particular senior woman, but also her neighbors prepare for this hurricane. You know, she's lived there her whole, her whole life, and she's a very community conscious person. So she's doing a good thing. Her and her girlfriend are doing that. The girlfriend's very pretty. They, they uh, I didn't realize how good looking she was, but so they're uh, kind of moving the old lady to a safe safe housing. I guess their shelters set up and so forth. Make sure they're in a safe place. Uh, all right. Uh, next thing is Charlie. It's kind of a odd kind of a scene, but Charlie, they have they employ migrant workers, right? So Ralph Angel comes in and tells Charlie that, that he needs money to pay the workers so they can get get on this bus and get back to safe housing before the storm hits. But she's saying, well, the work is not done, and she will not pay the workers. She gathers them all together and says in Spanish that she wants them to keep on working. This is at, this is now after both uh, Ralph Angel and Remy, who Remy knows uh, is much more knowledgeable about how to farm. He's saying the right thing is to let these people go and, and get into self-shelter. But she refused to pay them until they, they do finish this work. So I don't know if that's gonna make her a good businesswoman or, or, or an awful person, or but they don't seem to be. Usually those kind of characters, they they are distinctly bad characters. So we see their bad behavior when they're forcing people to work in unsafe conditions, for some reason. So they go back out in the fields. All right. So I guess she's probably still under a lot of pressure about all the things going on in her personal life, particularly with her marriage falling apart. Okay, so Dora. Okay, so now just pulls up. All right, as I said, everyone's gathering at Aunt Vi's house, and Dora, Dorla, they're so country. Uh, Ralph Angel, I can hardly make up the difference. The girl's name is either Darla or Dora. He has a very he heavy uh, southern accent, so I can't really tell what he's saying. But I think her name is Darla. Anyway. He, she is Blue's mother. Blue is is, is the Ralph Angel's kid, who he, he's been taking care of, and Vi has the actual custody of the child. And Vi cannot stand this woman. She absolutely hates this woman. So when she finds out that she's in her house, she immediately tells Ralph Angel she has to go. So I guess uh, when this girl was in her addiction, she's 18, 18 months clean now. When she was in her addiction, there, there must have been lots of drama which put the kid's life in jeopardy, which is how Vi ended up with uh, custody. 
So she hasn't forgiven this girl at all. And she actually hates her. And I, I, I suspect she's threatened by her because she wants to uh, keep this kid safe. And she feels that since this is the natural mother, the girl's a threat. Let me fix this a little bit. So um, anyway, she comes to the house. She's coming there with, with the idea of visiting with, with, with the kid. Since the storm is imminent. No, no, she's coming there because her trailer park, she lives in her trailer. She's getting on her feet. Her trailer park, though, has been uh, evacuated. It can't be there. So she's on her way to a shelter, and she's stopping off to see the kid before uh, before she goes to the shelter. So as it turns out, she ends up staying there, getting stuck there at the house also. So she's spending time with her son. That's another one cleans up real good because she's looking... Real good. And there's energy. There's definitely energy between her and Ralph Angel. Like, it's not it's not over to the big woman sings. It's not over yet between those two. But um, for the moment, she's back. She's spending time with the kid. Avi hates it. She absolutely does not want that girl in her house. Uh, and we'll get back to a little bit more of that. Because apparently some other things happen that they do explain a little bit between those two. Okay, Hollywood shows up to help <clears throat> Hollywood. Oh, I would hope they would hurry up and get together because obviously Hollywood, Hollywood and Vi's relationship is the one I saw as being the best relationship in the whole show thus far. All the relationships have been dysfunctional it, it, with the exception of uh, her and Hollywood. But Hollywood was married. She found out. She told him to go go away. But they can't stay away from each other because they, they still very much loved each other. So, Hollywood shows up to help Remy put up all these storm boards to cover. They have, I guess they have to board up all the windows in the house and live on flashlights and candles until the storm passes. But uh, she sees him. Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's her reaction to him. But she's weak for him. It ain't over. But he's there, and now he gets stuck at the house. So they all say, they all decide to stay, to play spades. So it's, it's kind of a family time now with, with Hollywood. Okay, so Dora Blues shows us over. Vi hates Dora, wants her gone. Remy, <laughs> Remy is also there, because he's there preparing, getting putting the storm boards up. And now he, he can't leave. He said his house is already boarded up brought it up tight so he is there sleeping in chairs this, this must be some house she has because there's a lot of people in this house right now I, i'm not going to try to figure out and count them but uh so remy is there also so he plays cards with the family and all that they have family time they all seem to like remy he's a popular guy and obviously that's going to be charlie's man because she said she's definitely not going back with davis davis who uh was seen as prostitute for three years and also paid her $3 million. I would have, if I was going to divorce that man, I would have stopped that. Like, go ahead and just have your way, woman. Tell the story. And kept that $3 million in the coffers because half of that would have been hers. <laughs> but they gave him the $3 million and then broke up. And now his career is over, basically over. He's damn near 40 years old. So uh, I think I would have played that one a little differently. But who knows how much money you got? I mean, they make a lot of money. Unfortunately, most a lot of athletes end up broke, so I don't know how they go through the money. But so it's not inf it's not finite money. I would have got that money first. The hell with the hell with the story, the scandal. Okay, so Remy is staying. Uh, okay, so now there's this big scene between Charlie and Nova. Charlie and Nova are still not getting along after Nova took the money and paid for this kid to get out of out of jail. Okay, so there's there's still snappy snippiness between them, but uh, uh, Nova is talking to the kid Micah and saying that he'll be going to a prep school near where she lives. So it doesn't make sense to come all the way out to the farm. Apparently, the farm is a long drive every day. So during the week, he can stay with her, and so he she, she ain't discussed this with uh, Charlie, and Charlie overhears this. And she's not having it. So during this card game, 
they bring up again the idea that Micah could stay with uh, with Nova. So Charlie goes off. First, there's subtle hints at the table. Well, I don't think that'd be a good idea. Uh, no, he. I, uh, I, I just don't think that it would work out hard. <laughs> and she said, why? Nova said, why? What, what do you mean it won't work out? And then, so those two have to get up and have a discussion. Charlie and Nova. <clears throat> so they go in the back room and just start wearing it out. Going off. And uh, Charlie informs him that she she's not letting her son stay with no Nova five days a week, like whether he's in school or not. She don't feel that she is up to the job. She, she said, so what, what do you mean? Uh, no, her, she said her lifestyle. She couldn't expose her son to her, her lifestyle. And so she says, oh, so that's it. So it's because I, I'm a woman you can't accept. Now I have to give these this story props. They have not went the obvious direction Generally, in these things, whenever, whenever it's a homosexual relationship, of course, somebody in the family has a problem with it. And so that would be like the easy thing to do. That's just the standard thing people always do. Your lifestyle is is because you're sleeping with a woman because she's uh, obviously this is, she has a girlfriend now. And she said, I don't have a problem with you uh, being with a woman. But then she started naming off the things that she do have a problem with. Uh, one being that she grows weed grows and sells weed another being that she lives in the lower ninth i guess that's a very bad neighborhood where she was not he's she's not sending her son to the lower ninth uh five days a week and the other thing the cherry on the uh, cherry on the cake is she was sleeping with a married man <clears throat> all these women are very sensitive about these married man thing charlie and also on by so on by has got issues with these married men i mean obviously that's why she don't want to be with Hollywood no more because he's a married man. She respects that. And there's been history with these men and these women and these married men. Anyway, so that's the primary thing is that she was having an affair with this married man. Soon after their argument, uh, Vi pulls, has to have a conversation with Nova and confronts her about her sleeping with a married man. Nova assures us that, that that relationship is over. Kind of thing. And they're able to move on. Vi does not approve of that at all. Vi, Vi taking on a lot of it. She's, she's coming at the uh, beginning of the show. We thought she was kind of like a, you know, uh, a cast member, but she wasn't like the primary person. The father was the primary person. He died in the first episode. And then I thought it was going to be Nova was going to be the primary person. Because I was taking it to believe, okay, somebody is Queen Sugar. That's a, that's like a title, Queen Sugar. But I guess the sugar cane itself is, they call that Queen Sugar in, in uh, New Orleans. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, storm ain't hit yet. But the lights are going down. Okay, is everybody playing sweet pink? Okay, so there's uh, Ralph Angel is softening to Darla. <clears throat> now, we already know that a couple episodes back, he had sex with her. He went over to her, her trailer and just had sex. Apparently, the girl, what happened with her was she, he went to prison. She got involved in drugs. And which, which is what happens often is she ends up in prostitution. That's why he's having a very, very hard time forgiving her. She was exposing the, the, the child to her tricks. There was a, uh, a, a, a scene where at the very end of them taking her away, apparently she was in a hotel room with, with some trick. The, the kid was there. Hollywood shows up and rescues her, runs the man, the trick off, whatever the scene they, they were involved in. Probably he didn't want to pay or something. And they ended up with the baby. But Advai has not been able to get past that. They see her as a prostitute. They, while he was away, they were able to experience her as a prostitute, both her and Hollywood. That's why Advai refuses to allow her to get her son back. And at some point, there's a very, there's a very intimate, I mean, very touching scene. Advai is very, very 
very mean to this girl. The girl overhears her saying horrible things to her, to Ralph Angel about her. She has to get out. She comes out and she is in tears. And then she proceeds to, she does say that she wants to have her son back. But uh, I say, <laughs> well, my dead body kind of attitude. And the girl thanks her. She starts to thank her <clears throat> for taking care of her baby. And she goes on to this long monologue. This is her, this is her biggest scene. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I have so many problems with my voice. I'm, uh, I'm hoarse all the time. Do I have another illness? Mm. Anyway, uh, so she apologizes to Vi for taking care of the kid, right? For doing what had to be done. Because uh, she knows that she was a drug addict. I mean, it was a very bad situation. But she also thanks Hollywood for rescuing her from this, this scenario with this trick in the hotel room. And uh, <clears throat> so Vi walks out of the room. It's very, very, it brought tears to my eyes. I watched it twice and both times. I thought it made me tear. I don't tear up about a lot of television stuff. But I just, I felt her. And I've been a drug addict, so maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> Thank God. I was a drug addict, but I was so happy that I did not live up my drug life around my family. That got to be hard. I, I'm way out here in California, so no one saw it but me. Anyway, <clears throat> so Ralph, I mean, uh, uh, Hollywood didn't say anything to, to the girl, but he goes over to her after Vi walks out of the room and he, he has a slight smile, which is you know, his approval. He accepts her apology and her thank you. Okay, so towards the very last of this, Okay, Hollywood has a scene where he comes and explains his marriage to Vi. She's in her room. He comes in there. Of course, he says he loves her. And uh, she compares him with some other man in the past, uh, some person. And he's very hurt that he, he would, she would compare him to that person because he said, I never, I never put my hands on you. Apparently, the other person was violent, some woman. Charlie's uh, uh, with probably um, Nova's mother. Anyway, she he, he he explains what happened, how he ended up in this marriage. So apparently, the marriage was basically he had sex with a girl, this bipolar girl, bipolar girl, and the girl got pregnant. Now, as this often happens, he thought he would do the right thing by this woman because she was having this baby. So he married her because she was pregnant. He didn't even really know the girl. He just had a, a sex with her. Okay, so she loses the baby. She loses the baby and now he's married to her. And he kept it a secret because he knew how Vice felt about marriage. and it would be hard to explain circumstances to her. He stayed married to her because this girl has got a lot of, all kind of mental issues and she's in and out of the hospital and she doesn't have insurance. By staying married to him, she can have insurance. So he explains it. I mean, it totally makes sense. The only way, way Hollywood is wrong is by keeping this from his girl. He should have told her the situation instead of letting her find it out by the girl showing up at the picnic. Okay. She still hasn't forgotten to do it. <laughs> Obama is hard. She's a hard one to crack. A hard nut to crack. But when they do crack it, she's, they're very affectionate towards each other. So I like Hollywood. I'm rooting for Hollywood. Actually, I like all the characters. First, I didn't like Ralph Angel. But he's just like the strong, silent type. And not particularly, you know, that bright. But he's a young boy. He's really basically a young boy. He's in his early 20s. But I can still, I can see, I, I can empathize with all the characters now. Is there a bad character? Well, the great bad character obviously is uh, is uh, Davis, just because he has uh, he's a cheater. So they're taking Davis out. I don't know if he's even gonna make another appearance. Maybe a cameo now and then. But uh, I, I like Remy, and I think he's gonna be with Charlie. 
Charlie's got a kind of a rough edge. I don't know why that that, that thing with them her sending those those uh, those immigrant workers back into those fields to work when the hurricane's coming. I I I didn't get that. I didn't like it. I didn't get it. But I'm sure more will be explained. She's probably worried about these, these coins because they got quite a bit invested in this farm now. Okay. All right. So Remy ended up there at the house with the people also. Remy lost his wife. So he's just at his house by himself. So he wanted to be there at the house. And the storm was, was, was bearing down. So he ended up staying, he's sleeping there, I guess on a, a, like an indoor porch kind of thing. Or he's sleeping on, on uh, outdoor furniture, but I think it may be pulled inside because the storm is coming. So he's sleeping on these two chairs pulled together. And she walks in herself. She walks in and climbs in this, these two chairs with him. Now they start making out, but th there's no indication that they actually have sex. I mean, this is basically probably in the living room or, or communal spaces. But they just kiss and then they curl up together and fade to black. That's the end of this episode. So anyway, I like the episode. I love this series. I mean, it, it's it's like a a, a black Waltons. <laughs> Uh, only thing missing from this series, though, they ain't got no church. Almost all black dramas have, particularly family-oriented dramas, have something about the church. They don't have no church in this, so they do things a little differently. And I do like that they are not. No, no one seems to have a particular problem with uh, with Nova's homosexual relationship. So far, I haven't seen any bad reaction to it. Or oh, maybe when Charlie caught them uh, uh, at the house, she didn't know she was, the girl had moved was, was over there. She first saw her and called the girl nasty, but I don't think it had much to do with the girl, actually. It was more to do with what was going on in her marriage. Okay, so that's uh, uh, episode seven. So we're over halfway through this thing. I don't know how many episodes are going to be. Usually they're about 13 for in the season. So we'll see. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode as much as I did, and I'll see you next week.